Hello, I'm Reese Jones, and welcome to this lucid dream incubation recording. What follows is a lucid dreaming story, influenced by one of my own lucid dreams. It can either be listened to for fun, or with the intent to sow seeds for a lucid dream later on in the night. If you're listening just for fun, then you are, of course, free to put this on at any time during the day or night. However, if you decide to listen with the intent to incubate a lucid dream, then we recommend listening to it either just before getting into bed or whilst falling to sleep. So I'll now give you a moment to decide how you want to proceed. If you decide to put this on whilst you're falling to sleep, then use this time now to prepare for that. Turn off your lights, draw your curtains, get into bed, and do whatever else you need in order to feel fully settled. And when my voice returns in a moment, the lucid dream incubation will begin. Lucid dreaming's a funny old thing. It can manifest in so many ways. Sometimes it comes undeniably. A vivid scene, a sharp mind, clear intent. Other times it comes in murkier forms. Vague recollections, an unshakable sense of familiarity a permanently shifting landscape. Other times still, it comes abstractly. You're not directly lucid dreaming at all, but instead, dreaming about lucid dreaming. Tonight is one of those nights, and when my voice returns shortly, you'll see exactly what I mean.
you come to on a planet named Dreamwave. The sort of planet that has to be seen to be believed. Bioluminescent forests stretch from one side of the horizon to the other. Majestic floating islands hang above crystal clear rivers and strange dragon-like creatures fly around in pairs with human riders on top. At first, your perspective zooms along with the dragons, just like you're in a movie. But then, it humbly pans down to a young woman standing on the ground. Your perspective settles there inside of her, looking through her eyes. Her name is Kayla, and tonight, she's discovering the ancient art of lucid dreaming. Kayla had always been an explorer of sorts. And tonight, after drifting into slumber, she found herself here in this world called Dreamweave, standing at the edge of a huge waterfall. It was a scene she recognised. Not precisely, but generally. Nothing looked awry in other words. But, after observing for a while, she noticed it was just different enough. Just different enough to get her asking questions, that is. Because, you see, the way the sun hit the water looked strange all of a sudden. Otherworldly, almost. As she explored this thought, she eventually came to the only conclusion that made sense. She was inside her own mind. She was lucid dreaming.
now knowing that she was dreaming. Exhilaration surged through Kayla, and she dove into the waterfall's lake with a great leap and splash. Everything looks so real. Everything feels so real, she exclaimed, watching the fish swim by her and feeling the wetness on her skin. More real than real itself. As she spoke and continued observing the fish, she felt herself slowly beginning to transform from a woman into something else something aquatic. This wasn't a conscious choice on her behalf, it was the dream's doing. But nonetheless, she felt intrigued by it and was eager to see where it led her. Huh, I'm becoming one with the fish, she thought. Gills now adorned Kayla's neck, and her limbs elongated into a streamlined form. Just like that, she'd become an aquatic creature, able to explore the depths of Dreamweave's underwater realms. And so, she did. Whilst down there, Kayla encountered a whole new world of wonder. She swam alongside vibrant schools of fish and discovered coral formations that pulsed rhythmically. She even encountered strange ancient sea turtles that seemed to possess an intelligence beyond her own. What are you? She asked one of them, gazing into their eyes, captivated.
Taylor's lucid dreaming adventure had only just begun. As she swam further down into the depths of this underwater world, she noticed a hidden city emerging from the watery mists. She got closer, and it took on clearer form. I should go in, she thought, then did. Entering, she began to befriend the inhabitants. One by one, they explained to her that they were lucid dreaming too, just like her, in beds elsewhere. At first, she could barely wrap her head around what they were telling her, but as the dream progressed, the knowledge began to feel familiar to her, obvious even. Kayla was welcomed into the underwater city with open arms. There, people could do whatever they pleased, however strange. They could transform into majestic creatures, just like she'd done, or harness the local elements and communicate telepathically. And as she looked around, she saw examples of her fellow lucid dreamers doing exactly that. Wow, what a sight to behold, she thought, joining in with them. And so, Kayla continued to explore her environment. But now, the tone was changing. A powerful entity known as 
the Dark Weaver had arrived and had begun tormenting people. What had started as a fun and curious lucid dream was now transforming into a sad and harrowing one. What does the Dark Weaver want? Kayla wondered. She wasn't sure, but she realized this much. She had to confront this dream character and protect the harmony of Dreamweave. After a long search, Kayla finally found the Dark Weaver, sitting in a gloomy cave on his own, manipulating the environment in strange, ungodly ways, affecting people from afar. Her gut instinct was to engage him in battle, but as she approached, she realized it would be much better to, instead, engage him in discussion. And so, she did. She sat down with him and hashed things out. He was hostile at first, but as she asked him why he was doing the things he was doing, he seemed to soften, eventually admitting he was merely searching for love. The search was surely misguided, but in his heart of hearts, that's all he truly wanted. And so with that, Kayla embraced the Dark Weaver and merged with him.
Shortly after the merging, Kayla woke up, returning to her waking world, forever changed by her experiences in Dreamweave. She now realized that lucid dreaming wasn't just a silly bit of fun, like she'd previously thought. It was, in reality, an art that could reshape one from the inside out. And so, from that day forward, Kayla dedicated herself to spreading the knowledge of lucid dreaming and empowering others to explore the depths of their own mind. Lucid dreaming will change you, she explained to her students. You'll never look at anything the same again. If you listened to this lucid dreaming story just for fun, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you listened for induction purposes, then I hope this parting message now finds you relaxed and drifting. Your lucid dreaming seeds have been sown. Your mind has been primed. And you are ready for sleep. And so, with that, I draw this session to a close. Remember, you are a lucid dreamer. Never forget it. Happy dreaming. <laughs>